Hey dolls, in this video I will be demoing the Main Choices Ancient Egyptian Anti-Breakage and Repair Antidote Hair Care Line, giving you the spiel on how all of these products worked, and just giving you a demo on how to use the products and showing you how they turned out, so keep on watching. So if you watch my wash day video, you know I start off my wash day with a hot oil treatment. And good thing this line came with a multi-purpose oil that was said to be powerful enough to be used for a hot oil treatment. So that's exactly what I did. The oil was very non lightweight and non-greasy. It did penetrate my hair shaft and it left my hair still moisturized after I shampooed. So it was bomb for me. So to prep my hair for detangling and shampooing, I went in with the conditioner and my apple cider vinegar hair spritz to prep for detangling. And this conditioner was very thick and very moisturizing. I did see it did have a lot of slips, so I was able to easily detangle my hair with this conditioner. And it did leave my hair very, very moisturized prior to shampooing. And it still had my hair moisturized after I shampooed. And this conditioner says it's gentle enough for daily use. It penetrates the and protects and repairs and restores the damaged cuticles, which is very necessary for kinky hair. It adds long-lasting shine, leaves hair feeling soft and tangle-free. It instantly hydrates and moisturizes, which I found that it really did. It minimized damage and breakage, and it's safe on color-treated hair. So this conditioner was a go for me as well. Now, I drenched my hair in the shower before I thoroughly detangled my hair. And you'll see my hair was, I mean, my hair was blow dry prior to wash day. So it wasn't really that tangled, but it was pretty dry and tangled from the gel and the styling. And my hair is just going right through this comb. No shedding, no breakage or anything. So this shampoo really had a good slip. And the I feel like the hot oil treatment kept my hair thoroughly moisturized to prep it for shampoo. Look at that bounce. That definition, that moisture, it's its just already looking so bomb and I haven't even shampooed or styled it yet. So that's a good sign for me. Okay, now for the shampoo. The shampoo was pretty good. It wasn't too thick. It wasn't too thin. And it did leave my hair semi-moisturized. I don't know if that was because of the pre-poo or the hot oil treatment that I incorporate in my wash day or because it just wasn't that stripping. But it also wasn't that stripping. And it says it's safe enough to use for daily use, which is a good sign. And one of the first five ingredients is aloe vera juice. So that's a pretty good sign to me. So this shampoo was pretty okay in my book. Um, it wasn't like a wow thing, but 
I think with my hair care regimen, my hair is naturally still going to stay moisturized even through shampooing, especially if it is a very stripping shampoo. So my hair was pretty good after this. Um, you'll see the texture um, after I shampoo. So the, I went back in with the conditioner to re-moisturize my hair after the shampooing. And I always do the conditioner with my Rasul Clay Mix. So if you watch my wash day video, you I'll go in depth with what I use and why I use it and the steps of how I use my products to leave my hair all nice and moisturized. But that conditioner did have my hair very moisturized afterwards and the Rasul Clay just gave it a boost, which it always does. So... Yeah, I I love this I love this conditioner. It was very thick and very moisturizing and it is good for like everyday use and it was pretty manageable. So after I rinsed all of that out, I went in with the hair mask to have a more deeper moisturization treatment. And this hair mask is kind of on the expensive side of the line, but I would say it's worth it. So I, I just kind of lathered it into four sections of my hair and kept it in for about an hour. They say you can put it under the dryer for 15 minutes and that's pretty much it. But I kind of just sat under there for an hour because I, I do the most. And look at that. It's just melting right in my hair. I don't know if it's because my hair is drenched. That product just melts in my hair. But... It's melting right in my hair, and I instantly see the moisture. So, this moisture, this this hair mask was pretty good. I'm not, I'm not gonna knock it. So now it's all rinsed out and I'm about to start styling it. And you know, I always go on with my aloe vera juice mix. So I spray that all on my hair. And I've been incorporating rice water. So I'm going to do a rice, I'm doing a rice water challenge as we speak. And I'll give you all a one month update on how I've seen the progress of my hair with rice water usage. It's my first time really utilizing rice water in my regimen. So that's pretty cool. But that was just a little side note. Back on topic. So I go in with that aloe vera juice mix. And then I'm going to go in with the multi-purpose oil to seal in that moisture or hydration. And I just, you know, put a little bit on my hair. And then I'm going to go in with the leave-in lotion. And then the, I use the split-in treatment on the ends of my hair as directed. And then I go in with the twist-in gel. So I'm just going to prep all of my all of the sections of my hair with the lock method. And then I go in with the, tw with the twisting gel to individually twist my hair and for a twist out.
So I use their cuticle control leave-in lotion as my leave-in conditioner, and I really like this. It's very, it's a very good versatile leave-in conditioner. Um, it's good for instant hydration on your hair, and it left my hair feeling very soft and manageable. It kept it moisturized, and it says it's supposed to support growth and retention, which I find very important in a styling product. So I think I'm gonna keep incorporating this in my hair regimen as well. And now for the most unique part of this hair care line is the split end treatment serum. And this serum is specifically for split ends. So you're only supposed to apply it to the ends of your hair. And it says it's supposed to mend split ends or repair them or somehow glue them back together. Um, I don't really know about all of that, but it is very moisturizing. And I really like the way it feels on the ends of my hair. And I feel like it will prevent future split ends. I don't know if it actually repairs it or if that's clinically proven, but... It says it does, and it's infused with fatty acids. It penetrates all layers of the hair shaft. It conditions and shines hair, and it replenishes and fights against split ends. So that is a good tip for my hair. And last but certainly not least, this 24 karat glistening gold twisting gel. This is probably one of my favorite products in the line. Um, I never really use just a gel on my hair. I use a styling cream and then a gel, but this is a twisting gel, so it's kind of all in one and it's kind of a one product styling product and I really liked it um, you'll see me trying to see if it is possible for me to do a wash and go so I'll do like a little shingle method just to see how it instantly defined my hair but it instantly defined my hair and I could have did bigger twists for that reason but I think I'm gonna try a wash and go with this product just to see if I can do a one product wash and go with this product and I think it's possible this product is really good I think of all the products you should get the entire line I, I would I would encourage you to get the entire line but this twisting gel is something that is you're going to get your money's worth instantly with So these are the results guys. I'm really pleased on how it turned out. Even though I don't like smaller twists, my hair still came out pretty fluffy and full looking and it's only day one. So day two is going to be even better. And I really hope you enjoy how I use this main choice ancient Egyptian line. Please comment down below if you have any questions. Like this video if you enjoyed this content. And please subscribe because I have content coming for you guys. Thanks for tuning in.